let's go now. Hello and welcome back to my Skyrim game. Morning already. Uh, the Falskar Adventure. We're on our way to get passage back home to Skyrim. And uh, so it's morning. Maybe there would be less wars but and we all had a few sports teams. <laughs> but um it's still dreary. I was hoping for sunshine and that's why we camped out instead of just trudging through the darkness, which is a better visual experience with the Maybe daytime. So wharfs, and we uh, a few sports teams. We're gonna pack up and we're gonna get out of here. There it is. So while that's packing up, the fire is burnt out. Please, no more bear fights. And that was it. We're ready to go. Okay. Don't worry. Midget, y'all can still fight. Please, no more bear fights. <laughs> and that's the direction we're heading, but I better look at the map because there's a passage that we're looking for. Oh, wait. I don't remember crossing that. I guess we did. And I just wasn't aware of, aware of it. So we're where we need to be. And we need to make it to this bridge. And, uh,. Okay. And there's the zombie that they killed. They actually have some things that actually have worth. That's alchemy. And I care less about a pickaxe. You know, I get so many of them, and then I sell them, and they're not worth much. But I can scrap things in the game, and, and uh, I can get iron out of that. But I've got plenty of everything. Okay. I'll let my flowers just take care of business. That's how a true Nord fights. <laughs> I like the music in Foul Score. It's different. It, it, you, uh, kind of get a break from the normal in-game. It's, it's a great change. Maybe there would be less wars. And they all had a few sports teams. it's just cool to spend some time away from Skyrim a little bit. That's why Foul Score is so awesome. We trudged through the wilderness to get here, instead of staying on the roads. But we need some more landmarks. Uh-oh. I found something. Or did they? It's a path problem again. This world is such a... Mm, mystical place. Yes, we'll go with mystical. In case you didn't see that. She's got dragon wings. Great, great mod. Simple, awesome animation. For what it is, it's a free mod. It's great. There's that castle. I'm not going to go to it right now because since it's on the map and I haven't done anything to get it put on the map, it's there for an important reason. I don't know what 
it is yet. This is Valspar, I'm exploring it. So I don't know a lot about it. But, uh, we're not going there. But it's a good landmark. And we might as well trudge through the wilderness straight to another landmark over here. That's more minor. I try to stay away from major landmarks like that castle back there because sometimes it'll screw with quests and things. And I don't want that. Uh oh. Darn. Mounting Goten with dragon wings is a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, the followers have more trouble. Except for saline. Probably bandits in here, I'm gonna think, I guess. Is it? Yeah. No, why not? <laughs> You're going to try to kill me with that today. I'm leaving. Another one of those suspicious eggs. <laughs> so anytime you see the danger arrows, that means my followers were peppering that, that corpse pretty good. generally uses a bow, but she does have a sword. <laughs> Mercy was hissing. Immersive weapons, you can't beat it. So the only thing I need is this. Great, great spell. I killed someone over there. Did my followers go? I don't know. That's definitely Falscar. I love this weapon.
just making sure. When they're close together, you never know. Sometimes you can be clicking on the same body. They took care of business. They took care of business. There we go. The hellhound. It's it's a tough creature. That's the last of them. Oh, what? Doing this because I can't remember exactly what they had. That's right. It's a hellhound. So we've got that landmark. Just make a little trail of landmarks on the way. If the sun would come out, you could see how beautiful this land is here. Oh, Skaver. Let's just break out the fog. Uh, the dragon bone rope. Oh, that's all I have in my. Seen of that. One shot, one kill. God, this would be beautiful right in here. If the sun was out. A little bit out of the way. But let's go check out some scenery. That was another mod. Oh, we're close. We're very close. Oh, that stupid animal ran into the water. And right over there is a dog. Now, if I remember right, uh, it's been a long time, but in the quest, we have to rescue uh, the guy and, and some people there. So, we just we make a beeline over there. Oh, there it is, it's swimming. The creature. I forget what it's called, but it's part of Monster Pond. That's part of Monster Mod. I think it's appropriate for you to, I'm not sure. That, that hung, hung this up. A very pregnant 
Yours. My character's name is Mary Alice. I based how the character looks from a very good friend of mine. How do you know that the armor you make for yourself is fulfilled with shit? Not that it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the top, and there's bandits here that need to die. One shot, one kill. Sometimes I just don't want to mess around. Videos like this, I like to end things pretty quickly. Leave me all alone. Uh, I don't want to get too close, so I try to stay as far away as I can so I don't hit any of my flowers. That one guy, he moves a lot, darn it. <sighs> Make it too long, kill him. Okay. So. Pretty rich. <laughs> Immersive weapons. Okay, so we completed killing the bandits. That's a great, great weapon too. Normally I take the hide armor, but uh, this is a YouTube video and if I do that, uh, well I could I guess. So we finished our task. Now we have to go find where they've been imprisoned at. I'll go on a murderous rampage. All right. Yes. We visit those wonderful hot okay, this thing I might bug mean, out. Let's go now. It's been a little buggy. Oh boy. Let's see. Maybe I, I 
thought it just did that. Too loud. Whoa, you're the special one that came through that old gateway, aren't you? I bet Skyrim is amazing. Okay, he's back on his ship. Uh, nearly had a scrape with an iceberg a couple weeks back. Would have ruined me. I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskar and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll pay you. However, it won't be free. I wish it could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. I know it's a bit steep, but I'll shift my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's all right. It's the best I can offer. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. Uh, not nice. And that's it. Be careful out there on the coast. And that's how we get back home. You could use a bath. So, uh, the trap door, right here, and where it takes you is it takes you to the Dark and Dawn Star, and the sun is looks like it's gonna be peeking out, maybe. Maybe it's coming out, isn't it? Dwarfs, Finally. Schemes. But we had to go through all this first. But it is out now. I say we visit those wonderful hot springs. <laughs> By that I mean, let's go now. Okay. You all need some bed rest, maybe. It has been quite the <laughs> adventure with you. Strange that I've never um. asked for any gold, though. So, I guess I should end the video here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I guess we can travel to Dawnstar. Why not? Let's just complete this. 500 gold. Yeah, that is a bit steep, isn't it? So. We made it to Falskar, and now we're heading back to Skyrim. I don't know how long this video was, but... Hopefully it was another 15 minutes at the most. Maybe, maybe 20. I don't know. Probably take a little longer to load up. It's definitely a big change switching over from that world back to Skyrim. And it's it's a lot of scripts involved. A lot of scripts. So okay, let's go on.
Okay. That is how you get back to Skyrim. So it's just that little door there. And it costs 500 gold again to get back. So. And here we are in Dawnstar. And I'm missing some followers. Or I, I have no clue where they could be, but I'll bet. If we just like me, eh? Don't move, they'll don't show up. Two handed weapon. Celine Kate. Very rare that she would abandon the Dragonborn. But one thing she does do is she keeps it immersive enough so that when you have solo quests, she will not show up in there. I find your hand like in my pocket. I'm going to cut some of the other followers from Nexus that I really love, but when you do a solo quest, all of a sudden here they are with you, and it's like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. But Billya will do that. Um, and Sophia. We'll do it. I think Vilya has an option where you can turn that off. And, uh... So you see some contraptions here, don't you? This is a tool that's used in Milk Mod Economy. And, of course, it is what it is. It, it's a... <laughs> A milking device. Yes. And so we'll go in and wind peek in. And see if the followers pop up. If not, I'll have to work the bug out. Whatever it is. I don't know if Falskar was in, created with the intention that people were going to bring multiple followers into Falskar. I really don't. I, I don't think it was, but yep, they all showed up. That's all I Come had. On in. Let me know if okay, well, we are now. Whoa! Is that a vampire? A bandit. Okay, and this is the Helgen mod. The rebuild Helgen. These that's another quest that I'm I've got going. Uh, where you are looking for guards to hire to start guarding Helgen. And these are brother and sister from uh, Red Guards Rampage. Uh, Hammerfell folks that I need to hire. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. ADD again. Put that away. Bust the bandit. I won't take all the blame. And I just wanna say uh Thank you for watching, and I, I enjoyed making this video for you. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something, maybe not. Um, you could we need to get uh, Nyo into uh, the bed for some bed rest, because she's about ready to deliver at any moment. So, bye-bye. <laughs>